Hi again, everyone. I'm Steve Cashel. Welcome to another edition of the Golf Scene. So much to do again this week. We begin with the Chicago District Golf Association. And this week's stop on the CDGA Tour is their golf house in Lamont. That's their headquarters. Did you know they have a greenhouse back there? That's where we introduce you to Derek Settle, their director of turf grass programs. Welcome to the greenhouse here at the Chicago District Golf Association's Midwest Golf House. This is Derek Settle. Derek is the director of turf grass programs for the CDGA. And never knew this was here, big guy. Right. I, I think a lot of people don't, don't know uh, all of what we do. And uh, in, in this complex, on this end, um, this is where we do a lot of our, our turf grass diagnostics for golf course superintendents. Um, and then we also have a small lab, and maybe we'll get a chance to take a look at that. But then also this looks out onto the Sunshine Course. And again, a lot of our, our research uh, things that we do to help support superintendents is evaluate products and, uh, and see how they do. And so this is kind of a nice, nice area all, all put together uh, when they built the facility. Let's talk about the greenhouse effect or you know, taking advantage of what you have here and what you do inside the greenhouse here at the CDJ building. Right, this kind of uh, serves both as, uh, as a greenhouse as well as a lab. Um, in the wintertime, if we need to do any uh, kind of research, we've got a space that we can warm, uh, keep plants going uh, throughout the year. Also, this is a place uh, a lot of times we'll, we'll bring in what uh, appears to be diseased turf grass. We can grow it out and, and then actually find out whether or not the, the grass is alive. And Derek, I hear you have more than just a greenhouse here. That's right. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's do it. Well, Steve, this is the, the second room, which is uh, very important uh, for me. This is where we bring all our samples in when we're looking for um, solutions for superintendents. And again, this is th these would be the two uh, microscopes. One would be a dissecting scope. This would be the first uh, microscope that we use to look at examples. Mm -hmm. um, primarily, uh, again, you're going to have a turf grass sample. Once we see things that look suspicious, we bring it to the compound microscope. Um, and this, this microscope also has a digital uh, camera so we can take photographs. And then over here, this is a laminar flow hood. Um, it's really uh, also important. It helps us um, actually isolate into pure culture um, on, on media uh, diseases uh, that are associated with, with turf grass out in the field. Um, and for example, this is a, a fungus that was causing a patch-like disease last week at a golf course in Chicago. And um, typically, um, a lot of what we see occurs, uh, it's, it's related to the weather. And so we've got a computer here, and it's connected to uh, a, a wireless uh, weather station. And so again, we always are monitoring the weather um, conditions, especially obviously wet conditions favor development of fungal diseases. But what we see each year is, is that we have patterns um, and we can actually predict some of these disease outbreaks and we have some, some computer models that we use 